Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Kitty Podcast. It's not too long. Well, well, it's been a week since I made my last podcast. You know, I've been uh, real busy this week. You know, I've been real busy. Uh, just you know, uh, drinking coffee, watching the Angels games. You know, it's been real busy. You know, it's been, it's been work. Just my my papers, my business paper, my papers for business. Uh. I'm unemployed. Uh, oh, did you guys have a good week, huh? What you do? What you do this week, huh? Did you, did you get, did you get that promotion at work? Did you show up to, did you show up to your boss? And you're like, I don't want to work anymore. People don't wear their masks. And your boss is like, All right, but if you, I'll give you a promotion. Instead of making fourteen fifty, I'll give you fourteen sixty five. And you're like, fifteen cents an hour. All right, that'll, that'll make up for the. 177% inflation. I got a promotion at work today. We're going to have a steak dinner to celebrate. Oh, what's that? A steak costs $700? Oh, never mind. Let's just get some McDonald's 99 cent. Oh, what? The McDonald's 99 cent doesn't have it. It's not. It's, it's, nine, it's $9.99 now? It costs ten bucks for a goddamn cheese. Are you fucking kidding me? You know anyway. Um, let's see what I've been doing this week. Of course, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, all my all my UFC bets came through. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. My parlay. I put that ten bucks on my the parlay. One sixty bucks. Fuck yeah, six hundred percent increase, dude. Six serial gains. Serial gains just destroyed Derek Lewis, man. I don't see, I mean, that wasn't really, I don't see how it was going to go any other way, really, you know? I mean, of course, Derek Lewis had that one-punch power, but it's just, you know, as uh, as Daniel D.C. Cormier says, there's levels to this shit. There's levels to this shit, and uh, Serial Gaines is just on a different level, man. I don't know if anybody, even even Nganu, you know? Nganu's got that, got that power, that explosive power, but Serial Gaines, he's just so, he's such, so much better martial artist. He's an actual martial artist in heavyweight. And basically heavyweight just ha- never has any martial artist at all, you know? I guess like like even Stipe, Stipe's I would consider him like a wrestler and a boxer, not really a martial artist, you know? Like he doesn't he doesn't have any jujitsu or anything. Yeah. You know? And he doesn't really kick, you know, because his legs are so stubby. He's got those stubby legs. He's all torso, you know. And uh you know, DC too. DC is good. He's good at wrestling. But he didn't really have any... He's not... I wouldn't call him an all-around martial artist. Serial Gaines is just an all-around martial artist, dude. He's got it all. He's got wrestling. He's got the striking. He's like, he reminds me of, like, Adesanya, but a heavyweight. He's also got the... Ju- and he's got jujitsu too. He's got jujitsu, you know? So, uh... I don't know, man. I think that guy's gonna be... I think... I think he could take out Nganu. He's got the cardio, too. You know, he's got he's got every he's a, he's a he's a full bowl of cereal, dude. He's a full bowl of cereal, you know. Anyway, um, all my other all my other uh, bets paid off, which was good. That was good. I think I won a hundred bucks total. Hundred bucks, dude. Fuck yeah, dad. Fuck yeah, that'll make up for some of the, all the fucking money I lost in the stock market. Deal. And we talk about that uh, a little bit uh, here on uh, on the uh, on Monday here in the Asian markets there. Right when the Asian markets opened on Monday, gold t- took a giant diarrhea dump. Uh, Went down to the uh, to the yearly lows of 1680. Where it traded traded a couple days ago. It, it, it immediately recovered to 1720, but it was just uh, it was just crazy. It was extremely low volume. You know, not many people were trading, but um, it was basically the goddamn global bank of mafia trying to drive the price down as, as far as they could. And it recovered, and then uh, of course this week the inflation numbers came out, and. Uh, you know the inflation wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. It only increased by it only increased by 0.3 percent last month. All right, all right. Things only got slightly more expensive, not insanely more. Ex- we're winning. We're winning the war on inflation. Yay! <laughs> Everything's only slightly more expensive than last month. You know. So anyway, that was, uh, gold went up counterintuitively. You know, because all these goddamn algorithms are 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 programmed. Like the opposite way, like they think, they think the Fed's actually going to raise rates, which is fucking retarded, you know. Anyway, um, 
And then on Friday here, on Friday, the uh, consumer sentiment came out, you know, and it was lower than expected. So consumers are, you know, their feelings. Oh, my feelings. My consumer feelings. I don't feel like buying stuff. I don't have a good feeling about the, I don't have a good feeling about the economy. I'm feeling really sad. You know, the, that's basically what it is. Consumer sentiment, where they just they just pull people, and they say, how, how do you feel about the economy? And they're like, oh, I think it sucks. You know, that was lower than they expected. And so and so gold rallied on that. <laughs> it's just fucking... What? That, so data doesn't matter, but people's fucking feelings? That's that's what you programmed your algorithms to trade on? Oh, God. Why, I don't understand how people got this dumb. Like, even even people that control the Wall Street algorithms are fucking retarded. Anyway, uh... So, you know, that's just, uh, that's just annoying here, you know? That's just, uh... That's just annoying. I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to talk about that or think about that, because it just makes me so goddamn blood-red irate and angry. Kind of makes me wish there was, like, a doomsday device. Like, a press just to blow up the whole goddamn solar system, you know? Blow up the whole goddamn galaxy, it's not enough. You know, anyway, um... Uh, let's see, what else is going on here? The Olympics ended, of course, on Sunday, you know? No more Olympics, dude. It's over, dude. Did you watch, did your, did your team win? Did your, did you get the gold medals? Did you get the... Did you, what'd you get? Did you get the, did you get the, did you get the Crunchy Wrap Supreme from Taco Bell? Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, uh, Olympics kind of boring this year, you know, I was watching all these, every event I watched, I was like, this is fucking boring, man. I guess the Winter Olympics are more entertaining, you know? They got people skiing down hills, they got bobsleds, they got the people that like, I don't know, ice skating, you know? I don't know, I think both the Winter and Summer Olympics are fucking boring. I don't know why anyone watches that shit. It's fucking boring, dude. It's fucking... Of course, we've got the Paralympics. That's way more interesting, man. These people shooting bows and arrows with their toes. That's fucking cool, dude. Paraly that's, that's all I want to watch, the Paralympics, man. All the goddamn one-legged people running around on their on their machine legs or whatever, you know? Their robot legs. It's like, goddamn, we got these androids. Look at these, look at these androids. Do they identify as an android? Is that a gender? Android? We need Android bathrooms! Um, anyway, uh... So there was that. Uh, I've just been, uh, just been, uh... Gotta, gonna apply to some more jobs, you know? More jobs. I'm not such a goddamn loser. Gotta get some money, gotta make some money. You know? Got to, uh, make up for losing, uh, ten years of savings. Yeah. Cause, uh, goddamn global banking mafia. Um, anyway, so, uh, applying for some jobs. Uh, you know, recently I've been, I've been trying to write some, I've, I've been trying to write some stories in, uh, in German there, you know, trying to write some German. Mach schnell, mach los! Uh, it's tough, man, it's tough. God, it's just been, fucking this one, I was writing, God, I wrote like a page, you know, all week. I'm just sitting there staring at the screen, I'm like, God damn it, how do, whoa, whoa, how do I, Trying to use these specific vocabulary words, I'm like, God damn it! How do you use, how do you use this goddamn word? You know, it's just tough. It's just tough writing in a different language, huh? You know. And uh, I don't know if you guys can you hear can you hear my goddamn video card? The fan on my video card is making noise, man. It's fucking annoying, dude. Cause it's hot over here in Japan. The video card's like, oh, I'm so hot. I gotta cool myself off. I'm gonna turn the fan. It's just like clicking. It's like, it's like okay, dude. All right, bro. Hey, I'm gonna need you to go head. Stop making that goddamn noise. That goddamn noise, you know. And, um, yeah, speaking of books and that, fucking, been having some Amazon drama, you know. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, as I mentioned in podcast before, you know, a couple of my books got removed from the category, and like, I'm, I keep emailing these people, and they're like, okay, we're sending it to our internal team or whatever, you know. And it's like two weeks go by, and usually they. Usually Amazon answers your mails like within 24 hours, but if if they don't, they'll send you a notification that like, okay, we'll answer you in a couple of days. We gotta investigate this further, you know. And fucking two weeks go by and I get no response. So then I send them another mail I'm like, hey, I've been waiting, I've been waiting ten fucking business days. Are you guys gonna respond to my email? And they're like, oh, okay, well, hold on, we're still investigating. Well, we'll write you back. So they're supposed to send me a message by Monday. So we'll see what happens with that. My fucking sales are down, dude. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Got their goddamn. The goddamn Wall Street algorithms are fucking me over, and the goddamn Amazon algorithms are fucking me over, you know? It's like, apparently, they, all their 
fucking Amazon's run by algorithms too, you know, all their, what they assign the categories are all decided by algorithm score or whatever. And, uh, and a couple of my books, my, my couple best-selling books, fucking, these two, these two reviews, two, two, they give me like one-star reviews, and they're not even really, like some reviews are like, like critical of the book, or like they'll, They'll say what they like and didn't like of the book, but some reviews just talk shit, you know? They're like, this fucking sucks, dude. This is a fucking piece of shit. It fucking sucks, you know? But other reviews are like, well, this wasn't my taste. And on page 35, you know, I think there was a mistake there. And and uh, you know, it might be good for some people, but maybe it's just not really, you know. You know what I mean? You know, some, some reviews actually talk about what they like and didn't like about the book. And some reviews are just talking shit. You're just like, fuck this fucking, bull this fucking shit book, you know, so anyway, there's a couple of reviews that I got, you know, a few months ago, and all of a sudden, like, now they're the top review, all of a sudden, like, a, a whole bunch of people clicked helpful, and now they're, like, in the top review, and it's like, what the fuck, dude, this is a fucking bull, you know what, it's my fucking, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, competitors, because all of a sudden, these reviews just got a whole bunch of helpful votes, like, they had, they had no helpful votes, like a couple weeks ago, and then all of a sudden they have a whole a whole bunch of helpful votes, and they're like the top top review on the page. It's like, uh, that's why well, why don't why don't those fucking Amazon algorithms take that into account, huh? The goddamn God, there's so much shady shit. There's so much shady shit going on on Amazon, dude, with competitors and people fucking scamming, making fake books and shit. And it's just like, oh, God damn it, oh, God fucking damn it. You know, anyway, uh. Besides that, everything's good. Besides that, everything's good, you know. Just gonna have a nice little Saturday here, you know. Watch the Angels lose to the Cheaters, the Houston Astros. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.